Hello world, my name is Tim Ruswick and welcome back to another game dev video. Today I want to talk about the bubble. Why you're in it, why I'm in it, and why we should get out of it. Uh, and I don't mean the, the shell. <laughs> Some people say you gotta get out of your shell. Okay, you're too introverted, you don't talk to another human. Come on, not that, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the bubble, I'm talking about the social media bubble, I'm talking about the algorithm bubble. Because here's the thing, what a lot of people don't realize, and some people do realize this, but they just forget about it is that all of our social media channels are run by algorithms, okay? So the things that you consume and the things that you watch are the things that continually get recommended to you. And what I've noticed is that when I go to get inspiration for things, or I try to learn about things, in a lot of these channels, my homepages and my, my feeds and all that are curated and they're algorithmically chosen. It's my bubble. So I'm not seeing the world as it is. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing the world through a lens with which I've created and, and that can be good and that can be bad. When it comes to artistic expression and creation and inspiration, it's a bad thing because you are limiting your intake from what could be so many awesome different things uh, by just your previous preferences or your previous watch history. YouTube is a great example. If you ever try to learn something, there might be a thousand sub skills that you might need to learn. Like I'm learning how to draw right now. I'm practicing drawing and stuff. And I'm realizing that there's like character art, there's background art, there's color theory, there's all this stuff to learn. But based on how the algorithms work, if I watch a, a, a video about drawing characters and character poses, those continually get reiterated to me. And then I just get a feed filled with like character poses and stuff, which is fine if I really want to learn character poses. But it's also made me aware that like, hey, the algorithms can't necessarily tell that like, I want to learn a good chunk of all of this stuff. They just kind of focus in on one thing. And I think this comes down to a lot of things when it comes to creativity. Like you can only create new versions of what you've taken in and consumed, right? A lot of people got mad when I said you shouldn't make unique games because nobody really does make unique games. We just take all of the things that we've learned and we've consumed in our head and we repopulate them together to to make uh, a new version of things. But the thing is, if, you, if you're not taking in new experiences, if you're not taking in new things, if you're not taking in new content or new ideas or new inspiration, it's really hard to export new stuff right if you don't import it you can't export it there's nothing there to draw from and it's one of the reasons why i think like you know a lot of the greatest artists are people that went through a lot of pain and a lot of bullshit because they've they've just been around the block a few times and they've got a lot more to pull from and i think on the internet in these bubbles we 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 get lost in this stuff right and i i have too like i've i've been through that trust me uh and i've i've tr started to try to kind of reach out of my circle, out of my comfort zone, out of my bubble, uh, and not just on social media, in but like also with like the people that I'm comfortable talking to, the servers that I hang out with in Discord, the uh, you know the the places on the internet, the people I converse with, all this stuff. It's a bubble, and I've made an effort to get out of it. And I've and by doing that, I've learned some really cool things. I've met some really interesting people. I've experience something that I never would have thought I experienced before and all of that I think leads to better creative output because you just have more to draw from and so that's it I don't have a super complex message today that's all I wanted to say but I want to say thank you to these people right here they help me keep doing what I'm doing making game dev videos on the interwebs even though this really didn't have anything to do with game dev you know sometimes we got to have some basic videos. We got to get back to the old Tim Ruswick. Used to share a bunch of self-improvement and uh, thought stuff like that. But that's what I got for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you want your name on this list, you can head over to patreon.com slash game But my name is Tim Ruswick, and I will see you in the next video.